Welcome back to the channel, Moparman1978 here. Uh, out here this evening, after I got home from work at 3 today, took a little nap, woke up, out here, temperature's still decent, you know, even with the, I had to put a light hoodie on, but anyway, it's still great weather. I'd rather have this than uh, sweating buckets anyway. Um, yesterday, uh, I was off, today's Monday, um, I got the sandblaster out and the big 21 gallon air compressor and I sandblasted the parts, leftover parts I needed to get done for the 8 and 3 quarter for the darts. So this is, let me show you what I got them done, I got them, got done yesterday I should say. Alright, there's those. Got these all done. Uh, three or four coats on each side of the uh, BHT brand. Um, black, a gloss black suspension epoxy paint. Uh, these are 11 inch drums. Um, I wasn't going to go to try to fiddly fart around trying to locate a pair of 9 inch or 10 inch drums for the dart. So. Uh, 11s are plentiful, especially on pickups, so I found these. I got an extra one of these. If somebody's interested, it's not, but I can paint it, for, sandblast it and paint it for them, or I can just sell it to them as, uh, like, bare, rusty metal uh, backing plate. But anyway, um, then I got uh, shock plates all done, several coats. Um, they didn't even have to be sandblasted. I already done that, and then I just uh, put several coats on them. Uh, last time I did this one, I didn't get enough paint on it, and when it dried, the metal kind of absorbed some of the paint, and it turned it to almost a dull. Now they're all high gloss, everything here. Um, never mind the dog; he's just being an ass tonight. Um, no. So anyway, um, got all this done. I'm going to have to get uh, new uh, bolts for the front of this for the uh, axle ends, um, the housing I should say. Um, but anyway, I got uh, uh, payday of last week about 7 o'clock in the morning. I got on Mansingy Racing and ordered those um, special motor, or not motor mounts, geez, it's been a long day. Uh, Eight and three quarter U-bolts, uh, Mopar performance ones. The ones that's got the flat undersides with the uh, cross pattern textured uh, grooves, or uh, I don't want to say grooves, they actually protrude out, but they're a, a crisscross pattern. Um, so those will be, uh, when I get those, those will also be painted and I'll be getting that on, I'm off Friday. So hopefully I can get that done Friday. Uh, I'll do a video on me putting this, uh, the, the rear suspension together. Mosquito. Um, tried to land on the phone. And uh, anyway, uh, get that all buttoned up before too long. I'm going to be working on a lot of other odds and ends of stuff. Um, we're getting closer on the torque converter for the van. Getting that done. I hope to get that done before too cold of weather sets in. Um, so anyway, um, I'm out here getting measurements because I bought some flat, uh, I would say half inch by eighth inch thick uh, weldable steel uh, strip that I bought from Menards. I'm going to be making a uh, homemade Uh, bracket that comes out from here that has the hole comes out here to a certain spot and then comes down this way and comes in and bolts up from from off of this back side as well and then it's I'll build some type of extension that comes up here and then uh, like on the Edelbrock um, you got that little tab with the screw where you slide your uh, your choke in between that little tab and the mounting bracket and then tighten it down so the the spiral uh, piece here doesn't move while you're moving the manual choke 
and then I'll have it to where I can, uh, there we go, uh, replace this piece of wire I got hanging so the choke's wide open, and then uh, make it a full functional manual choke. Uh, be making that bracket, and uh, I decided that I'm going to keep this air cleaner, this Edelbrock air cleaner. Um, I'm going to polish this aluminum up, but uh, I'm going to clean this first, this painted area. I painted this last time to go on the Buick engine in the hearse, and so I'm going to clean this up and repaint it to match the orange on the engine block. And then what you do is you just mask everything off. Spray this entire thing side to side, front to back, all the way around. Get it all nicely coated, and then you thoroughly let it dry for two or three days. And then you come back with a uh, rag, uh, like a wear chemical gloves that so you don't get the, so your body doesn't absorb the uh, choke cleaner. And um, you just take a rag and work your way down each one of these until you get bare metal. That's what I did on all of this including the lettering and so that'll be doing that and I'll still be running the uh, Canon air filter um, especially since I'm running the thermoquad that needs as much as much air as possible um, but yeah there's that um, I just finished doing some weed eating got all all this was growing up pretty heavy around the truck at some point we're gonna get this dang thing running um, needs a uh, oil pump, new oil pump shaft, intake gasket set, and a new upper and lower hose, radiator hose, but other than that, it it's the uh, cranking over not wanting to fire up uh, situation's been fixed. I got all that stuff taken care of. The switch under on the steering column, all the wires checked at the bulkhead and, and everything else taken care of. Uh, the distributor uh, ignition Coil, all that stuff's been uh, replaced and tested, so it f if we'll fire up, it's just got to have some odds and ends done to that. But anyway, uh, let's see what else. Um, also, I'll take this off. Um, hold on a minute, somebody's trying to call me in the middle of a video. Anyway, just letting you know uh, a couple things. I'm um, just working as I can, best I can on these projects. It's taking longer than I thought. Um, I'm helping my mom with a lot of her bills, what she can't afford out of her monthly check after my dad left the scene um, and ran off of my oldest. It's, I got two younger sisters, the oldest down to Florida and hasn't come back since. And that was last year, a week before Christmas. He's got Alzheimer's dementia, and according to the police and the sheriffs, he's free to come and go as he sees fit. And he hasn't bothered to come back, and he left my mom with all kinds of bills and yada, yada, yada. So anyway, um, been helping her. I was helping them and then until he had that little uh, spaz out and not bothered to come back. Um, so I've uh, been helping her because she's retired and only gets a certain amount of, up per month on her uh, Social Security check. So I've been helping her with a lot of the bills, and that's where my money's gone last year and this year. Um, this year we had to play catch up because she was left with all the bills. So we finally got caught up, but we're still making the payments on a variety of bills. So that's where a lot of my funds gone. So bear with us. And again, that's why I didn't go to No Name Nationals last year and this year. Not because I've been lazy or hate the community or some... Uh, what do you call it, half cock theories and all this other crap. Um, but anyway, um, doing the best I can with what I got. So bear with me and we'll get this stuff taken care of. And if need be, springtime hits, that period between the cold and the heat again, we'll be getting right back on it and finishing up this stuff and plan on start driving this truck. And I'm going to get the Jeep running as a backup vehicle. Um, so yeah. Uh, until next time, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're watching the video and you're, you're you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. 
and leave a comment when you subscribe on on a channel that locks in your subscription I mean, it's a free subscription so you can come and go anytime you want um but anyway until next time rambled on long enough so